is open on uh, crew number five and six, uh, four and five, pardon me, as they, uh, they're the ones that were identified by the national team program to be um, the lead two crews, but all crews in this race have a chance at winning this. They know what's on the line, so we're just about getting going here, and we gotta start. So you can see that stroke rate just really ramping up really, really fast as they're trying to take this boat off the water and really build the speed as fast as they can. And we got a really fast start here from the crew in lane four and lane five. Really building and transitioning now in their travel speed, trying to keep that speed that they've built over the start as they approach the midway point. Again, this is a very, very fast 500 meter. And we should see that the, the athletes are gonna be extremely close and the, the boat speed's the highest it can go. So approaching the 200 meter here, it looks like the boat in lane five is actually opening up a little bit of a lead on the boat in lane four. And we'll see if the wind now will start playing a factor as athletes get really tired, see if the second uh, the second half will play it, play a role here and see if the athletes can actually make a comeback and a strong finish. And then we have a nice panorama shot here of the athletes in lane five, really clear water. And then there's a comeback here from the athletes in lane four trying to make a push and beat the athletes that are in, in lane six. So close, close race as we're coming through the to finish. So close to call here for boat length. Oh wow, by a boat length. Great job by lane five here. The crew of uh, Mark de Jong, Nick Matvey, Simon McTavish, and Pierre Le Poulin taking the win over the crew of uh, Marshall Hughes, Jared Kenke, Alex Scott, and Mark